Okay, good morning guys. Just a quick video on terms of uh, this uh, Fiat 500 1.2 valve timing. Um, we're just stripping down the engine. Engine suffered massive oil starvation, so we're going to tear down the bearings and everything and see what's going on. But just a quick video in terms of valve timing. There's a lot of stuff on the internet saying, yeah, you need special tools and this and that. And I think that's total bullshit. I don't believe in those cam timing tools. Unless you got like some kind of BMW VVT vinyls or whatever thing. So just a quick thing I want to show you guys how to basically determine this. Um, if you did say you're doing a timing belt change or something and you want to know what the timing belts marks are on that, just zoom out a bit so you guys can see better. Uh, long and the short is, before you take off the timing belt, always put the car on TDC. Now, the motor was running so I know more or less this is TDC. Uh, you can manually check it out by taking out the spark plug and just checking that. Um, but I've pretty much got TDC here. Now at the top here, you look at the valves. Uh, now remember in one of my other videos I did a firing and rocking. Basically, uh, in the fire position, cylinder one, the lobes are pointing towards the top, as you can see there, pointing towards the top, and cylinder four is pointing downwards. So that's basically that's basically in the rocking position, and this is in the firing position. So we know that this thing is on TDC. Now, in terms of the marks, there's some special tool here you've got to put on and do all kinds of lovely things and everything and then the timing magically reappears. But all you need to do is get a lovely little ruler, right? And align the center of this with the center of that, with that hole there. And you'll be able to see that the marks, if I can get this right there, is exactly dead center. As you can see there. So we know that that is indeed TDC. Marking here on the side. Normally it's got like some kind of notch or something here, but these few guys, they don't have that. So it's more or less exactly at the top of that piece right there. In case you ever get stuck and you don't know which way things need to go. And in terms of the valves, so we did the rocking and firing and everything, but just in case that doesn't work for you guys. Again, take your lovely little ruler. And then before you take this off, you need to make a marking right there. And then that marking, with the center of this and the center of the water pump here, will give you the exact lineage, line of sight, if you want to call it that. Let's get it exactly. And you want to get this as precise as possible. You don't want to, you don't want to wing it here. You want to be sure that's exactly center there. Exactly. See, I'm already off center there, and exactly on the mark there. A bit difficult with one hand filming this, but that's basically what you want to look at. Um, you want to make sure that it's in there's not accidentally like that and then you get your mark. Because if you if you're just a little bit off center there, so we put it like there and then there, you'll see you'll be a complete tooth off at the top. There's where you want to be. So yeah just a quick video in terms of that. In terms of the tensioner, it's got this uh, little hole markings there. And then you've got this little positioning there. Now granted this belt worn out. So we're going to be putting on a new belt here. But you want it to be right about there. See it's center there. That's too tight. That's too loose. That's just right. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown on that. We're going to be tearing this thing down. Uh, see what the damage is on the inside. We've got a lot of, uh, show you guys a lot of uh, metal flakes there at the bottom. Just love your little metal flakes over there and over there. Metal this, metal that. There you guys can see it better. And just the flash quickly. There we go. All that metal flakes right there. So damage was car was driving. They hit a thing in the road. Knocked the oil filter out completely here on the side. Everything ran out. And now she's done. Okay, so that's long and the short of it. Just want to give you guys a quick video. I hope this helps uh, and good luck with your bolts.